I will show you one of the most underrated features on Google Looker Studio, which is parameters. And parameters allow you to put your own data on your Google Looker Studio reports. And I will show you one of the use cases. For instance, if you're an international marketer and you have different uh, Facebook ad or Google ads accounts with different currencies, you will have this issue. Some of your ad accounts are in dollars, in euros, in Colombian pesos, and so on. I will show you how you can normalize it, how you can use the same uh, currency conversion just by changing uh, the currency. So I have this report where I am showing ad spend in Colombian pesos, just as an example. And in the left table, I want to turn that ad spend into US dollars. How I will do it? I could do it with a formula, but if I want to do it massively in a bulk for all my charts, uh, then it is not working the same. I will show you what I will do. I will go to this chart and I will see that it has amount spent and I will change the name of this field from amount spent to Colombian pesos. So I want to see dollars in one end and Colombian pesos in the other end. Then I will go to resource and I will go to manage added data sources. I will click there and I will go to edit my data source because I can edit data source. For instance, here I can create my own fields. And once I create them here, they will show always in the reports. You don't need to create every formula one by one. Anyways, here I will go to add a parameter. You will see how we will use this option. And the new parameter name is a new field. It's a new dimension or metric that I will create with this data source. And the parameter, I will call it a currency conversion. And the type of um, the type of field is a number. So it will be a whole number. And finally, the default value of this currency will be 5,000. I will say that a single US dollar is 5,000 uh, pesos or Colombian pesos, thanks to the Fed and the Colombian government. Now, I will click on done and I will have created my own parameter. What I will do here, I will show you. So I will click here on the US chart, on the uh, US spend chart, and I will do a change. I will create a field and this field will be called US dollars. And what is the formula? The ad spend in pesos divided by the currency conversion that by default is 5,000. So I will do this change. And now I am seeing my ad spend in dollars. But what about if one day I want to make that the currency conversion is not 5,000, but 4,000? I will show you what I will do. I will go to add a control. I will go to input box. And the field that I will use as input is the parameter. As you see, there is a purple new field that I am creating. So I will put conversion and by default is showing 5,000. So you can simulate different scenarios with parameters. I can input the data so my chart change. What about if I change to 4,500 pesos? Now the value will change, as you can see. And as you can see, if I change to 3,000, now the value is changing as well. So if you want to do this, to have different conversion scenarios, you can do this change. You can actually input your data to change all dimensions. And what other use cases I have for this? For instance, if I want to calculate the ROI of a campaign or the actual CPA or the agency commission, imagine I can create a parameter that says expected margin and I can input a different value and I can model different scenarios of return investment or the actual cost per acquisition. Or if I am an agency, I can show the ad spend. I can have a parameter that is called margin. And if I input 10%, then it will increase automatically the 10% of the commission, something like that. This is how you can create or you can put your own data on your Google Looker Studio reports with parameters.